Welcome back. You're watching your regional news wrap. The psychiatry department of the St. Paul Hospital will be reopening. The ward has been under much controversy in the past few years. It closed in 2008, right after an expansion was completed, upsetting many residents. We are uh, now targeting to reopen the unit by September 30th. Uh, my hope is that we'll actually uh, be admitting patients by the 28th, 29th. It's a 10-bed unit, but right now they only have the staff to make five beds available. But the current staff say five is a good start. The Saskatchewan government has revealed details for their first year of the eight-year housing strategy plan. This will hopefully balance out the number of people to housing ratio in the border city. It also aims to improve housing affordability and support people in the greatest need. The values have, have gone up and... and uh, you know, they've uh, kept pace with the earning capacity of a lot of people. The result of the new plan won't start surfacing for at least a few months. Well, another major construction project is underway in Lloydminster. This new complex will provide 10 brand new affordable senior housing units, something our local MP was proud to unveil. I think uh, this is uh, an exemplary way to handle uh, uh, Métis housing and in fact, uh, uh, low-income housing. Well, Premier Brad Wall broke ground for the new site of Ecole St. Thomas. It's the city's only French immersion school and it's outgrown its current space. It's doubled to 360 students in the last 10 years. It's around 21 million dollars uh, and we're looking I think at 213 for it to open. You know Lloyd Minster's growing and enrollments here have been picking up uh, uh, speed for some time now. The new facility is supposed to open in two years time. In the meantime though, a new francophone school is set to open this September in Lloydminster. This school differs from the French immersion program because it caters to families with French as their first language. Many francophone families don't often speak the language around their kids, but a new school will open more doors for French communication. They may speak some French in the house, but outside and socializing with other kids is all in English. So this is to give them an opportunity before they start school to start to get used to it, to, to see that you can have fun and play in French just as well as in English. Well, you can expect to see plenty of discs flying around Bud Miller Park in the future. The city announced the opening of a three-hole disc golf course. The sport originated in California in the 70s, but it's taken off in Canada recently. The sport has many of the same rules as golf, except instead of a ball, you throw weighted discs and your targets are these baskets. We know we have a core group right now of 50 and like I said last week I saw some younger folks trying it so I think that number is going to grow quite rapidly once the word gets out. It's free to play at Bud Miller and you don't need to book tea times. I tried this out last weekend and it's much harder than it looks. The city says they will think about expanding to nine holes next year if enough people are interested. Well, I'm very excited about this last story. The Lloyd Mall has added another more ethnic food option to the repertoire. Edo Japan is offering hungry shoppers a meal they may not have had before, authentic Japanese cuisine. Japanese food traditionally is a little healthier than your typical fast food. Uh, it's uh, cooked fresh right in front of you and uh, there is no sort of processed uh, meats or processed vegetables in the uh, meals. There you go, sushi and noodles for dinner tonight. That is what you missed in regional news this week. After the break, a Canadian pop folk artist takes a minute out of her busy Western tour to take the chair. Stay tuned.